is dead. Let's turn now to the issue of immigration and border security. And President the Biden, muted. a record number of migrants like, is... illegally crossed the southern border. They didn't let him respond to that? Because that was a pretty high, high charge. He tried it. He's in like New York this, and Chicago, but the mic And in some muted. cases, causing real safety and security concerns. Given that, why should voters trust you to solve this crisis? I mean, mean as much as to get a American <laughs> politics are a show, change all of this is a travesty sure even for a show. A where this is a terrible show. show. This is the worst Monday Night Raw I've ever fucking seen. The number of border police and this is like the Thursday show. show. And I've seen a lot of bad Raw over the years. By the way, the border over the yeah, endorsed same. me, endorsed my position. In addition to that, we found ourselves in a situation where when he was president, he was taking, separating babies from their mothers, putting them in cages. <laughs> Families are separated. Right way to go. This is the what I've done since I've changed the law. What's happened? I've changed it in a way that now we're in a situation where the forty percent fewer people coming across the border illegally. It's better than when he left office. That's not true. You have to continue to move until we get the total ban on the the the, 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 the total initiative. Asylum officers. <laughs> oh, man. We had the safest border in the history of our country. The board, all he had to do was. All he, had to do was it. he decided to open up our border, open up our country to people that are from prisons, people that are from what mental is? institutions, insane asylum. Terrorists. Reagan we have the largest that. number of terrorists coming into our country right now. All terrorists, <laughs> all over the world, not now just in Cuba. South America. What are you talking America, about? From the Middle East, everywhere, all over the world, they're pouring in. And this guy just left it open. And he didn't need legislation hey, because I didn't have legislation. I said, close the border. We had the safest border in history. In that final couple of months of my presidency, we had, according to Border Patrol, who is Great. And by the way, who endorsed me for president, but I won't say that, but they endorsed me for <laughs> president. Who endorsed me for president? I won't say that. We you had just the safest did. border in history. Now we have the worst border in history. There's never been anything like it. And people are dying all over the place, including the people that are coming up in Thank caravans. Thank you, President Trump. <laughs> president Biden. The only terrorist who's done anything across the border is one who came along and killed three, and his administration killed an al-Qaeda person coming in and his administration. What? What the fuck? American soldiers. <laughs> Bro, how many illegals that kills Americans? Dude, fire up command prompt, run check disk. We're welcoming these people. It happened That's in simply Houston not last week. There's no data to support what he said. Once again, he's exaggerating. He's lying. President Trump, um, staying on the topic of immigration, you've said that you're going to carry out, quote, the largest <laughs> domestic deportation operation in American history, unquote. Does that mean that you will deport every undocumented immigrant in America, including those who have jobs, including those whose spouses yes. are citizens and including those who have lived here for decades? And if so, yes. how will you do it? Uh, just one second. He said we killed three people. The people we killed are al Baghdadi. Oh my Salamani, God. the two greatest <laughs> terrorists, biggest terrorists space. anywhere in the I'm world. Sorry. And it had a huge impact on everything, not just border, on everything. He said you to kill people with a bad water, including hundreds of thousands of people dying and also killing our citizens when they come in. We ha we are living right now in a rat's nest. They're <sighs> killing our people in New York, in California, in every state. Who's they? Morning, because what, we're not borders what is anymore. It? Every state what are you talking about? Border. And because I of these the ridiculous, Where are these people? insane, and very stupid policies, people are coming in and they're killing our citizens at a level that we've never seen. We call it migrant crime. I call it Biden migrant crime. They're killing our citizens <laughs> oh, at a level that we've never before. And they're reading it. That's these terrible. Incredible young yeah. girls over the last few very years. Very low energy, Donnie. One of them, I just spoke to the mother. And they just at the funeral face. for this oh, girl, 12 years old. This is horrible what's taken place. What's Flipping taken back. place in our country. We're literally an uncivilized country now. He doesn't want it to be. He just doesn't know. He opened the borders. Nobody's ever seen anything like. And we have to get a lot of these people out or we have to get them out fast because they're going to destroy our country. Just take a look at where they're living. They're living in luxury hotels in New York City and other places. Our veterans are on the street. They're dying because he doesn't care about our veterans. He doesn't care. He doesn't like the military at all. <laughs> and he doesn't care about our veterans. Nobody's been worse. I had the highest approval rating for veterans taking care of the VA 
He has the worst. He's gotten rid of it. I, I think Biden's actually melting. All it of the different be. things I approve. The VA is bad in his administration. We had by far the highest, and now it's down in less than half because he's done all these great things that we did. And I think he did it just because I approved it, which is crazy. But he has killed so many people is it, in our border. Is it crazy? All of these people to come in. It's crazy. It's a Biden. very sad day in America. President Biden, you have the mic. Every single thing he said is a lie. Every you single know, one. You can't example, just say I that. I a hell of a lot better off since I've had Make a point. Out. One million of them now have it. Just one. And their families have it. Their families have it because what happened, whether it was Agent Orange or burn pits, they're all being covered now. And he what? opposed, his group opposed oh. that. We're also Agent, in a situation Agent where Orange. we have great respect for veterans. My, spent, my son spent a year in Iraq. Living one of the next yeah, one of those who dropped Agent Orange? Oh, right, right you guys. Yeah. I was recently in in, in uh, France for a D-Day, and I spoke to all about those heroes. Were you? Died. I went to the World War II cemetery. I'm surprised you remember he's in France. He refused to go to. He was standing with his four-star general, and he told me, he said, I don't want to go in there because they're a bunch of losers and suckers. My son was not a loser, was not a sucker. You're the sucker. You're the loser. Bro, you're right. This is a rerun. Uh, first of all, that was a made-up quote. Suckers and fucking... losers. They made it up. It was in a third-rate magazine that's oh, failing, no. like many of these magazines. Uh, he made that up. He put it in commercials. I'm surprised we he said him. it. We had 19 people that said I Iraq. didn't say it. And think of this. Who would say I'm at a cemetery or I'm talking about our veterans? Because nobody's taking better care. I'm so glad this came up and he brought it up. There's nobody that's oh taken God. better I'm care of our crazy. soldiers than I have. To think that I would, in front of generals and others, say suckers and losers. We have names. This is so bad. That said, this is so fucking bad. Me. It was made up by him, just yeah. like Russia, Russia, Russia was made up. <laughs> this is up. so just fucking like the bad. Just intelligence to... agents are made up. Ooh. Just like the new thing with the 16 Biden's economists are talking. Yeah, it's the same thing. The 51 intelligence agents there. said that the laptop was Russia disinformation. It wasn't. That came from his son, Hunter. It wasn't Russia disinformation. Hunter. He made up the suckers and Hunter. losers. He should apologize to me right now. Um, the crackhead. Four star general standing to your side who was on your staff who said you said it. Period. I can't understand. That's number him. one. And number two, the idea, the idea that I have to apologize to you for anything along the line. We've done more for veterans than any president has in American history. American We've history. We've done more? And they now are in their American history. The only sacred obligation we have as a country is to care for our veterans when they come home and their families and equip them when they go to war. That's what we're doing. That's what the VA is doing you now. You shouldn't be going we're to doing war. doing more for veterans than ever before in our history. All right. Thank you so much.